Hi, my name is Rudy Bell Savas, a solution specialist here at Encore Business Solutions. And today I'll be going over part three of our tips and tricks of using Dynamics 365 Business Central. So the agenda of today is I'll be going over additional uh, tips and tricks of commonly used and very popular features of uh, using Business Central. So that'll be the ease of searching and entering data, changing descriptions on posted entries, and scheduling of reports. So I'll just open my demo environment here. So the first one I wanted to show is uh, basically the search functionality in Business Central and an entering of data. What does that look like? And um, I just wanted to show the user-friendly uh, nature of it and, and some features there. So if we are entering an invoice, I'll just use this as an example. And let's click on new. All right, so if we wanted to enter a new invoice to a customer, there's various ways where we can enter the customer number. So uh, the first one, you can look it up. So click the drop down and just choose which one. Um, the next way is you can actually just start typing. And I'll just show you the, the kind of the uh, powerful functionality within Business Central in, in entering data. So you can start entering, say we want to do the, the one here for 2000, this customer number 2000, you can start typing it and then it'll show up. You, you don't even have to enter the whole number. You can just enter two, zero, zero, and then it'll start filtering it there. Also, you can also just, if you don't know the number, you can start entering the name of uh, the company. So say we just know um, Trey Research. So it'll start filtering it there, or we just know the second word It'll also pick that up. So research, it'll pick that one up as well. And to take it further, you can actually, so there's other columns here, other fields. So if we knew the zip code, this is very unlikely, but I'll just show you an example here. So if we know the zip code of 37125, if we enter that, it'll pick it up as well. Or we just know the contact. So let's say we know Ian. This, this one here, uh, so Ian, start typing Ian, Ian De Deberry, um, and then it'll filter it there. So really uh, powerful functionality with Business Central when you're entering, entering information. You, you don't really have to know the exact details of your customer. Um, if you just know some parts, you can start entering it and Business Central will find it for you. Okay, so that's just an example of entering it within sales invoice but uh, virtually anywhere where you're entering data so let's do purchase or let's do a journal entry for example let's let's go over that if we say the uh, the area that you're probably entering is the account number so if you don't know the exact account number but you know the name so maybe there's a travel or no, let's do expense. So let's do an example of, we want to charge interest expense. So we just know we want to charge it to that GL, start searching it, and it'll populate with the GL accounts that have interest in their, in their name, right? So that's just an example there. So really cool functionality there, which I'll delete. Oh, Business Central doesn't like that. Uh, let's get out of there. Okay. So that's um, entering data. Another cool feature is the search functionality in Business Central. So um, you really don't need to know where to click through. Um, uh, there's, there's kind of a, a more common way of navigating Business Central, uh, which is the search functionality here. So if we wanted to say enter an invoice, um, we just search for it. So purchase invoices, that's really where you would go. So this window here, um, but this, this search functionality is really powerful as well. So if we just know, say the first three, it'll start 
um, it'll start filtering and, and trying to find within the system where you're trying to go. So purchase invoices. So if we wanted to say, go to that purchase invoice, so we don't even have to type in the whole word. We can uh, type in part of the first word and part of the second word. And then it'll find it, purchase invoices, okay? Um, so that's really cool there. And then also if you click show all, sometimes it just shows a select group, some, which is the, the most popular choices depending on your search. But if you click show all, it'll show everything. Uh, and, and then the various sections here. But the really cool feature is general. So let's search for general journals. It'll even show documentation. So if you're ever um, lost and don't know how to do a certain functionality in Business Central, there's this documentation section on whatever you're searching. So if you click show all, it'll show you all these um, resources to go to uh, on how to do certain functionality. Okay. So that's really cool there in the search functionality there. All right, so that's um, a feature I wanted to show. The next tip I wanted to show is changing descriptions on posted entries. So let's go into general ledger entries, for example. Okay, so if you ever post an entry and you, you realize that you um, didn't put in the right description. So you can always, even when it's posted, you can change this description, you can edit it. So if you say, let's go into this one here and you click edit list and then it'll put it in edit mode and you'll be able to change this description. So maybe let's put a test one there and then click enter. And then once you hit edit list again and put it into uh, view mode, you can see that that description stays. So really cool feature. Um, so even after you post something, you can always edit the description there. All right, and then the last feature I want to show was the scheduling of reports. So if you have a report that you run regularly and you don't really want to manually run that every time, so maybe on a monthly basis, you run your trial balance. Right. If you want it to automatically run on a periodic basis, you have that functionality. So if you click send to, uh, first you let, let's let's start that over actually here. Um, so trial balance, and then you would do all your selections here, all your filtering, um, etc. So once you're ready to set this up as a regular um, scheduled report, you would go into send to and schedule, press OK, and then this other window will pop up. And then the important field here is next run date formula. So if you wanted to do say current month plus one day. So what this means is it'll run uh, on the first of every month. Um, and if you click OK there, the report has been scheduled. It will appear in the report inbox when it is completed. So whenever it runs, it'll show up in your home page here. If you scroll down all the way in this report inbox. So um, really cool there. You don't really have to worry about running it uh, manually. Um, on the first of every month, you just go here and it'll show up. You can open it, print it, email it, whatever you want to do with that report. All right, so that concludes this uh, part three, tips and tricks. Hopefully uh, you learned something new and something you can use the next time you use Business, Business Central. Thank you.